Uh, it's yeah. So why don't, why don't you give us your little spiel on what what it is about this level you didn't like? I feel like it's it's not narrow enough. The corridors are too wide, and that makes it easy to miss something tucked away in a corner. And because of the big okay. spiral staircase-like design of this level, it's very easy to miss something and then have to redo a big chunk of the stage because of it. Or to get knocked down to an, uh, a previous level and then have to platform all the way back up, and it's repetitive and obnoxious. And yeah. alongside that, the challenge rooms in this level are god-awful. I remember one in particular not being super great. Yeah. The rest of them I thought were fun challenges. The the last like specifically, one is like pretty there's good. There's like one where you have to like where you have to like punch these blocks to move them into position so you can uh, jump yeah, to the That one was like That's It wasn't That's the one I don't like. I, I just yeah, I found that cuz I I didn't understand like I forgot Oh no. It's because I did that before the one where you get to like mess with them in like a vertical sense. So I didn't really understand that I had to get one on top of the other and then ground pound on it and then jump off to get the thing. This is the one right here. Oh. Oh. No, this one's easy. You just fucking punch forward. But it is this mechanic. Well, oh well yeah, there's there's I no, thought it was yeah, this there's one, a, there's a later one not. that's like really annoying. That's the one I was talking about. The stone cold statue in front of the lattice made up of three blocks that contain its eyes, nose, mouth, and asshole. To destroy it, strike its weak spot and topple all of its blocks, crash, down it goes. What an asshole. He's even worse than a mad agent. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, a, it's such a non-joke. <laughs> anyway. What does that even fucking mean? Is that is that like an Inspector Gadget thing? I've never seen any Inspector Gadget uh, Mad, before. Mad is like, is the evil organization that Inspector okay. Gadget goes up against. I thought it was just like an, like an evil agent that's angry or something. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Uh, I can see why you might have thought that. Uh, it's more so the inflection, the way he says it. Yeah, you're right. Like, it's you not like saying a mad kind of... agent, it's a mad agent. I don't know. But that's, that, that's more of like an East Coast thing. Or, maybe. I don't know, you are actually from the East Coast, so maybe you know better. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like... Uh, you know, there's not really a whole lot of, like, accents in terms of, like, America. Just in general. There's, like, you know, there's, like, New Jersey. There's, like... Mm. Fucking Wisconsin. Those are like your typical like accents. That's it. Okay, yeah, this, this be is the one. one. It's actually so you really have to... simple. Cause like literally, all you have to do is just like get a block on top of the other one. Shit, how do you do that? Oh, that's no, right. I forgot. You do. Something. I did this. I did this oh, wrong. Oh no! Yeah, you you punch like the one out. The weird thing you is, got, though, you, you, can, a... you can void out by riding the fucking block up high enough. Okay, you have to go to the, the second set. Over there. And then mm -hmm. punch. Oh, that's... Okay. Right, that's what I did wrong. Something. Yeah, okay. when you punch... Yeah. Uh, it up. Okay, nope. so you go to the you go to the ones on the right side of okay, the screen. You punch one first. like down the hall, and then the 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 single one over something something. Yeah, so it's like it, you keep punching them, and then the one that you punch over will stay in place, and then gradually it will move towards the thing. That's how it works. Uh, wow. But it's not. Is that how you're supposed to do this? Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> That's uh, not how I did it. I, mean, I think this is what they expect you to oh, do. Oh yeah, anyway, no, that's that's they're, not they're what probably I did. A... <laughs> I, but it's um, just like I always I always forget that that's how you're supposed to do it whenever I replay the game. And I couldn't like, figure I out how you were like... supposed to do it, so I just I did this thing where you like took the the ones across the two across from the single one. Uh, oh, by to, the way, like, this the boss right. is back. Oh yeah, it's the, the the level two boss. 
just in the middle of the stage for some reason. Kind of cool. Um, what I did was I took the, the two next to each other on the right and pushed it so like one is down the opposite direction and then moved the single block over towards them and then down the same direction I hit the first block. So they were like on top of each other and then I ground pounded and it re like bounced the top one upwards and then it just jumped off and landed on the crystal. <laughs> Okay, that but works. But if you ride well, it upwards... It's, it's like what you've been saying for the whole playthrough, that there are lots of speedrun strats yeah. that you can figure out. Um, it would be interesting to see someone run this at games done quick or whatever, see what they do. Yeah, I mean, you can always just, like, look up a speedrun of the game if you're interested. It's not like mm. GDQ is the only place speedruns ever happen or anything. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but, yeah... I don't think I've ever seen GDQ. Interesting. It's just... Yeah, it's just the the only speedrunners event I've really heard of. Yeah, I, I mean, it's the most popular one. But anyway, it, it's funny because if you... The first time I tried to do that, I rode the block all the way up thinking it would stop eventually or something, and I voided mm -hmm. out and respawned in the room. Oh, really? It was really funny. That's, so, you, so if you go up too high in that block, you'll die? Mm-hmm. Well, you don't die, but it, it respawns. Well, you respawn. Yeah. Like, if you were to ground pound on this block right now, I think it might do it. Oh, well, no, because there's a ceiling. Yeah, but yeah. It's the same idea. It goes without saying that the laser used by the laser jigglefish is dangerous. Try circling it, then dropping from above. If it goes without saying, why does he tell you? <laughs> oh, because this game is for babies. Bye bye, baby games. I have to be confused with my little baby Yuki. He will baby. hopefully be it. Yeah, hopefully she'll be living with me by the time this goes up. Baby! I want, I want to see more pictures of your cat. <laughs> yeah. I love cats and pictures of them. So, what did you think of these nosemans here? Eh. Especially with their little skeletons visible. That's kind of cool. A little annoying <laughs> to, do the, to do the same thing like. Three I mean, there's times. not really anything to this. You just punch yeah. them in the green it's, spots. It's simple, but like, yeah, it's it's a cool design. I'm All glad right, that you can just so... like run back up this thing. Yeah, good. It totally Otherwise, seems like one of those slide things from level five. In those cases. Yeah. Yeah, let's get some of... Th those those bear guys are, like, really annoying, because they'll, like, block your yeah, hits you have to from hit certain from angles. And even then, sometimes it will just not work anyway. This was, like, the only one of these challenges where I didn't end up... Um, defeating a whole wave before the time ran out. Mm. And here we have those stupid jiggle fish. And now my computer, my laptop's turn. What is happening? Uh -oh. Okay, good. Looks like I'm still recording audio. I'm gonna check mine too. Yep. Alright, we're still, we're good. We good, fam. Family. Right. Jiggle fish. Oh, they're still alive. Come on. Uh, oh, I managed shit. to get one of them. Goodbye. Jigglefish. Bye like bye, Jigglefish. Jiggle these nuts. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> the eye inside it, the goal up ahead, spins around while spewing flames. When flames close in, look for some sand. Use the ground pound to go underground. I actually didn't know that. Wow, or maybe I, I knew that. <laughs> like, apparently you can ground pound oh. the sand to dodge the fire on the boss in this level. Oh. Just something I didn't think to try, so... Hmm. I guess what the one of those hints actually ended up being useful after all. I mean, it's not like you really need it. It's no, no. Easy boss. it's not like you need it. You can still beat him without it, but yeah. okay. So, I, what I did you think of this one, Abif? This one's pretty cool. 
you, you like gotta grab like the grab ledge the edge and, and, and let it go down. Yeah, that, that's that's cool. Kind of, yeah, that's some, like cl that's something clever. Oh, you oh, could have done, done a dash jump. Oh, yeah, but goal. it's that's the di that's the difference between me and Eric is Eric would have done a dash jump. No, at this point, I was like playing way too cautious, so I, I wasn't going for shit like that. I just kind of wanted to be done with the game. Oh damn, you can you can just like fucking bum rush that shit. Mm. I was like going one. You kind of you kind of have to hurry, otherwise you'll drop and you know. Anyways, uh. There should be a thing over here. No. I don't oh think boy. So, I thought. No, just, ooh, I almost slid off the edge there. That would have been a fucking right. wrong moment. Oh, I think there's a, a switch on the right. I just saw at the bottom. Like you go, yeah. Didn't oh. I? Not sure how I managed to miss that, but yeah, I, I, good job, I caught it. Oh, this is the one. This is the fucking one right here. This goddamn <laughs> one. This is the one All I right. hated. And you guys ready for some Super Mario Galaxy shit? Yeah, it says Super Mario Galaxy is good! This is fucking right. bullshit. I hated this. This is the oh, one gotta, that made me want to kill time myself. It right. oh, you just gotta... Oh wait, that's no, that's just, what the game is. You just gotta get good. Just get good. Wario World is the Dark Souls of Wario games. <laughs> I can't get Game enough theory? of doing that obby voice. That's not even- I don't no sound way. like that. Yeah, you kind of do. <laughs> Just a little bit. Crying. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just uh, a little bit. How do you fucking first try this? I'm so mad. <laughs> God, this took me like fucking 20 minutes. I hated it. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna go with fucking Mega Man X6 rant. <laughs> on that room. <laughs> uh. In the review, that'll be fun. This p this platforming challenge took me so long that I grew a beard out of my legs. <laughs> this platforming challenge took me so long that I died of old age. <laughs> And if I'm not doing it correctly, then sorry for playing your favorite game of all time incorrectly. <laughs> God. What a, what a line. Oh, oh speedrun uh. strat! All you did was skip a ladder, but speedrun strat! <laughs> yes. I swore I saw something up over here somewhere. Uh. Ooh! No, I guess I was mistaken. Yeah, yeah, I guess looks you like were. We're, looks like, looks like we're on track so far. Um, oh. Until I did that. <laughs> uh, this this one was like a little less annoying to traverse. Yeah, this Wait. one is actually a little bit simpler than the other ones, isn't it? Am I wrong? Oh no, there's like back areas you're just not walking to. It's like a whole thing. I hate when they grab you and just like fucking fling you to some random area. Shit's annoying. Did I get the spring, maybe? There we go. This is the last one. Of course. <laughs> <sighs> Balls. <laughs> oh, come now. Come, there, was a, there was a globe. God, Move dude. the globe from my ass cheek to my asshole. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a fun mini game! Speaking of which, speaking of which, how did you make that um, Count Cannoli remix of the Nostalgia Critic theme? I didn't. Uh, my friend uh, made it. Ah. Uh, I don't know that, how he did. I thought that was. No, I, I have all the, the links to like all the art and other stuff that I did not do in the description. So anybody who is curious, who happens to be watching this, <laughs> the one of the two the people on the planet who cares about that as much as I do. <laughs> go check the go. description from that video and follow my friends who made those amazing things for me. 
the uh, mm. the, the incredible Inspector Haydox art made by my friend Spark, and those remixes <laughs> made by my friend Cryptic. Uh, yeah, okay, he, he basically there's... just like took a MIDI of like basically ripped straight from the game files. Oh of, yeah, so a, uh, uh, the Silver Zephyr theme. Mm -hmm. and then and, he grabbed those samples and put them yeah. in the MIDI of the Nostalgia Critic theme. Okay. Yeah, basically. It's not quite a MIDI swap, there's a little more work that went into it. Like, at least for the Inspector Gadget theme. Oh, uh, wait, no, no, the uh, the Nostalgia Critic theme. Uh, I had him because, like, I, I envisioned it in my head as, like, a funny thing that would work perfectly. Um, mm -hmm. I had him keep the chord progression and like the, a, a certain uh, background instrument like the piano in the background of the original song uh -huh. for the silver zephyr and replace and, and just like have him modify like the chords but have it do like the same kind of notes you know hmm so yeah I didn't, I didn't know that you were a music guy i mean like a big big portion of my channel is just mario paints so <laughs> Well, I, I just thought that, I don't know, I didn't know that you, like, actually knew anything about music theory or anything like that. I thought that was just fun. Um, I mean, like, I kind of do. Like, my mom was a musician before I was born. Um, so she, hmm. like, taught me music shit as a kid. I took a, I took an intro to music theory class in high school. That was it. Or, okay. actually, I think, I think it might have been. Oh, uh, that's, AP that's more knowledge theory, than I have. Or, so. like, GT music theory, <laughs> some, something like that. I mean, I played the violin when I was like 12. I played the violin. Not to be confused with Violin from Mega Man X2. Not to be confused with Who is... being violent, which playing video games will make you. <laughs> as we all know. Yeah, this but owning guns work, won't. Way. Owning guns won't make you violent, but playing video games will. Yep. Glad we can agree on that, Xio. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, but let's not go any farther on that. So. Yeah, let's, uh... Bro. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, looks like There's I found him. There's a thing you missed. That's a bit of a funny one. Also, these fucking things are annoying, because they, like, don't always send you the correct way. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Yeah, you have to, like, be, like... It depends on where you're standing when you hit it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It, it should just kind of, like, be an automated thing. It is, yeah, it is like, I, a cool I agree thing, but... Should have been a little more automated, so it's not as janky. Alright. I bet you could Are probably, you like, way? do some kind of jank-ass, like, dash into them and abuse it and, like, skip a big portion of the level or something. Hmm. That would be cool. Alright, so we're a pretty good chunk of the level done already. Yeah, you're, you're, you're basically done. You just gotta get to the end, grab the last two treasures, and get out. I think there's like one more challenge room at the end. Yeah, the final challenge room. That one's that one's pretty fun. It's it's very tense and a little too long, I think, but still cool. Mhm. Mm All right, so I know I heard it, so it's got to be somewhere close Cause by. Because it's not made up of a bunch of stupid oh, moving okay, platforms. Okay, look here. Here we do have some jugging uh, right yeah, here. There it is. And it's only two enemies on the screen too. It's like, why is it? I think it's struggling? I think it's because of this big platform here. Oh, yeah, um, it's like a big... Speaking of which, it's uh, it's actually kind of a neat little detail that that is actually the boss of the stage, is what those statues are. Oh, really? Yeah. So... Yep, okay, I think this is the room you're talking about right here. Maybe? Yeah, and this one. This is the there really it is. Long one. I bet you could, like, skip a big portion of this with, like, a perfect dash jump somewhere. That'd mm. be cool. It looks like I Oh, you know what? It might actually be set up for that with that with that cloud platform, or maybe not. I don't know. Because I think all that stuff's optional. There's like optional routes for like a single coin, and it's like, what's the point? All right. Uh, this is kind of blasphemy coming from me, but this is one place where I think um, D-pad controls would have been helpful. Oh, no, I totally agree. Anything with, like, tile-based, like, very specific platforming like this? Yeah. Mm. Totally agree. 
Oh. I, I honestly, like certain games, I prefer to play with a D-pad. Like I'll play like Pac-Man World, Spyro, Crash. I, I'll, I'll prefer to play those on a D-pad. Yeah. And uh, even I though like... I, you and I both like forces, one thing I didn't like in that game, I don't know what it's like on console, but on PC anyway, you, you can't use both the D-pad and the analog stick at the oh. same time. That's annoying. So you can't like Which switch is... on and off for certain situations. Yeah. So you have to like pause the game and rebind the keys Did before you, know you can use Did you know that Pac-Man World 2 has D-pad support? Most PS2 games do. I mean, like the game Unless version they... even oh. does. Can you yeah, imagine? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not the, too surprised. The weird thing about it, though, is that it's actually slightly slower walking speed on the D-pad than with an analog huh. stick. For some reason, it's really weird. Well, I feel like that could be useful in some instances. No, like it's not. The... No. No. Well, I mean, not for speed runs, <laughs> but because it's slower and also less precise than an analog stick. I mean... Oh, well... I'm maybe... the last Sprightling, Finsner! There are 40 of us all together, you know! How many did you save? There's not yeah. really a lot of, like, small, straight-line platforms in World 2. Or, like, see a series of platforms that are all, like, kind of right next to each other, like this. They're, they're all kind of, yeah. like, spread out horizontally a little bit. So that you'd want to use an analog stick. Well, weirdly enough, mm. it does offer D-pad <sighs> controls <sighs> as an option. The more you know. 